Hey y'all, Jody Wolfborn here, and this is Getting Started with Habitat the Supervisor. In the other videos in this series, we learned about Habitat's ability to help developers modernize their application pipelines, configured our workstations with the Hab CLI, created a plan, and started playing around in the studio to build our plan. In this video, we'll learn how to use Habitat's built-in supervisor to automate the deployment of new builds to our running services. The Habitat Supervisor is a process manager that has two primary responsibilities. First, it starts and monitors child services as defined in the plan it's running. Second, it receives and acts upon information from builder and other supervisors to which it is connected. The supervisor allows engineers to reconfigure running services through application lifecycle hooks if their configurations have changed. You can do things like update runtime configurations, detect and connect application services using built-in topologies, and roll out changes using built-in deployment strategies. Let's see how it works. You can also follow along with these steps at habitat.sh slash demo slash process supervisor if you prefer a text-based guide. First, we'll allow Builder to access our sample app in GitHub so that it can pull down new builds. In the Builder UI, click on your origin and select Connect a Plan. Then we'll install the Habitat Builder GitHub app and allow access to the sample node app repository. This will allow the supervisor to keep an eye on the build channels and update running applications when you modify the source code. Once it's connected, we'll select Build Latest Version, and Builder will notify us that a new package is being built. Select View the Output, and we can watch the streaming logs as our build completes. When that finishes, we'll go back to the Latest tab and select Promote to Stable. With our app in the Stable channel, we can now move to our working environment, the studio, and see the magic in action. From your command line, type hab studio enter. Since our plan is now connected to Builder, we can launch it in the studio without needing all the source code copied to our local systems. You can define various deployment strategies with Habitat. So we'll start our service using the at once update strategy so we can see our app pull down new builds in real time. Type hab service start your origin slash sample node app dash dash strategy at dash once to download, install, and start your app in the studio. Then type soup-log to see what the supervisor is doing. Leave this open so we can watch our new build being deployed. Back in the Builder UI, create that new build by clicking Build Latest Version again. When it finishes, select Promote to Stable and move back to the command line to watch your local app pull down this global update. We can see that the supervisor monitors the build channel and then updates our running applications with any newly promoted packages. We've only scratched the surface of what the various components of Habitat like the supervisor can do. Visit habitat.sh for in-depth information about the different facets of Habitat and subscribe to the Chef YouTube channel to keep an eye out for more quick videos like this one on integrating Habitat with Kubernetes, exporting to various formats, and more. Thank you for watching Getting Started with Habitat. I'm Jody Wolfborn. Until next time.